Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Last Friday, Snarled launched our first installment of our Dungeons & Dragons campaign. And in honor of this new series, today's episode will be told in the style of a campaign. There will be moments in the story where you must roll to determine what happens next. There are four different possible endings, depending on how you roll. This adventure is inspired by the creepypasta No End House, written by Brian Russell. Let's play. You are walking down a long, empty road and finally come upon the infamous No End House. It got that name because this haunted house experience is supposedly so scary that no one has ever reached the final exit. The rules are simple. Brave your way to the fourth and final room and receive $1,000. At any point, you can ask to leave. This is the type of haunt you've been waiting for. You've been to every haunted house in the area, hoping to be genuinely scared, but you're always left disappointed. The no end house sounded promising. And with a cash prize at the end, how could you pass this up? Your family and friends all warned you that this was a bad idea, but they're a bunch of scaredy cats. The rumors around no end house are just to build hype, you tell them. You are determined to be the first to win that money. You open the door and enter a room that looks like a normal hotel lobby that's been decorated for Halloween. Room one this way, reach the end and win. You chuckle and make your way to the first room. The first area seems like a huge joke. The decor resembles the Halloween Isle of Kmart, complete with sheet ghosts and animatronic zombies that gave a static growl when you pass by. At the far end is an exit. It's the only door besides the one you just entered through. You brush through the fake spiderwebs and head for the second room. That $1,000 is yours, you think to yourself. You notice the large two engraved in the door. You push it open. It slams shut behind you, causing you to jump. The room you've just entered is pitch black. You hear a low humming sound. It rings inside your head. This room is definitely a step up from the last, but you're not afraid of the dark. You reach your hands out to see if you can find a lamp or a switch. Your hands land on something. You can't quite figure out what it is. It's soft and incredibly cold. The room floods with light. You see what your hands have found. A small girl wearing a nightgown is standing in front of you. You pull your hand away and step back. Are you sure you want to do this? As you catch your breath from being startled, you regain your senses. A scary little girl? So cliche. The longer you stare at her, you notice how amateur her creepy makeup is. But why was she so cold? You almost caught me. You didn't answer my question. Are, Are you sure you want to do this? There's no turning back. How did she do that voice effect? As you look around the room for speakers, she comes closer to you. No one leaves no end house. No one. She grabs you by the throat with her freezing hands. You can't breathe. Hurry, roll to find out if you escape her ice-cold grip. 